This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 20.19.8. As part of our ongoing commitment to design and develop against WC3 accessibility best practices, we have updated our shared web components to align with WCAG 2.1 standards. For a full list of changes, review the release notes. Activity Feed has received visual improvements to better support your instructors. An underline has been added to the post type to better differentiate between message and assignment posts, and field names have been added. The post type icon has been removed from the authoring space when creating a post to better use the available space. The updated assignment list page is now the default view for learners, and this setting can no longer be configured by administrators. Text within comment annotations is now checked for spelling mistakes. We have removed the Allow Past Courses to Send Me Notifications and Allow Inactive Courses to Send Me Notifications options. Learners will now only receive digest emails for future and current courses. SMS notifications are no longer available for the following. Content, content item created, content, content item updated, and content, content overview updated. Learners with these notifications currently selected will stop receiving these SMS notifications after the monthly update. D2L recommends using Brightspace Pulse for content-related instant notifications. This feature implements Pi item D2203. A new weekly option has been added to the summary of activity and is the default option. There are additional options of never or daily. To better align with WCAG 2.1 level AA criteria, we have removed the open dyslexic font. For additional information, review the release notes. Class progress now includes an outcomes tab. This feature implements Pi item D2703. The Outcomes tab will display a history of learner submissions and assessments against all learning outcomes aligned to activities in the course. Click Learning Outcomes to view a list of associated learning outcomes. Instructors will also see a visual indicator of outcome achievement if your organization has implemented achievement scales. Users can select Insert Image to add pictures to an email from their device, a URL, or manage files. Images are inserted in place, attached to the email, and display in place. This feature implements PI items D871, D5458, and D2163. When composing an email, Insert Stuff has been replaced with Insert Image. Click it and select how you will attach the image. For this example, click My Computer. Drag and drop or navigate to the file. Then, click Add. Your image displays in line. Email now implements a DKIM rotation policy with rotation happening on six-month intervals. The D2L Tools mail, privacy address, configuration variable, replaces the use of the existing D2L, tools, mail, use reply to in from, address, configuration variable, for hiding usernames in generated email messages. This new configuration variable supports and conforms to DMARC protocol. This feature implements PI item D735. Intelligent agents now re-evaluate the status of a release condition at the moment of triggering to determine whether a user has completed a particular release condition or not. This feature implements PI item D3497. A number of changes have been made to learning outcomes to improve usability. For a complete list of changes, review the release notes. Additional customization and usability improvements have been made to Login Page Management. Login Page Management now includes a new HTML message box to display content below the login widget. By default, the message box is empty. Options to always expand, collapse, or hide the login widget have been included and default to expand. An option to center align the login widget has been added. By default, the widget is left aligned. A new section in the Table of Contents menu 
of the new content experience displays the name of the course and overall course progress. Managers can now access completion reports in CSV format using a new Report button in Manager Dashboard. The new Quiz Builder experience is now generally available and recommended for use in production environments. This new experience is in an opt-in out state, controlled by the D2L, Tools, Quizzes, New Quiz Builder Experience org unit configuration variable. Your instructors can navigate to Quiz Questions and click Add Edit Questions to access the new Quiz Builder experience. Here, instructors can add, import, or select and delete questions for the quiz. Questions can be rearranged using the handles to drag and drop or can be moved using keyboard-only navigation. Deleted quiz attempts can now be restored using the new quiz attempt log. Your instructors can now click Attempt Logs to view an overview of quiz entry, quiz completion, quiz attempt deleted, and quiz attempt restored. Filter by quiz attempt deleted to see a list of deleted quiz attempts. For the attempt they want to restore, click Restore. A new auto analysis tool has been added to the Video Assignments Premium integration by Bongo. This new tool provides English transcriptions and analysis for clarity, filter words, and speaking rate in words per minute. This new tool is available to all clients with the Video Assignments Premium integration. The Virtual Table of Contents widget now displays the optimal number of modules in the widget and adds a button for navigation between pages. New clients can no longer access Brightspace Learning Environment using any version of Internet Explorer. A not supported page will appear to users who try to use Internet Explorer and can be customized using language management. Check out a tutorial for the complete workflow in the new quiz experience by following the link on screen. And be sure to subscribe.